Not too bad a day out there, a comfortable day at that, but you can look live on our Lancaster Sky Cam. You see those low clouds. In fact, I just uh, looked at the measurement from the airport reports. They're about 600,000 feet off the ground, not very full, high up. And they're not really big thunderstorms or anything, just a few showers that are around. Lancaster at 75. Very comfortable, though, because dew points at 51. Remember those dew points are in the 50s and 40s? It's feeling real nice out there. West winds at around 13, making it feel pretty good also. So through the evening, watch for a stray shower, maybe a thunder shower. Otherwise, a mix of clouds and sunshine. The clouds will start to diminish as the, the sun sets, and so will the showers. But more clouds will move in overnight. Why? Well, look. Look at the winds, east winds. I often tell you that wind comes in off the ocean. We get some clouds. We get a little damp and drizzly, maybe late tonight, maybe a few spotty showers. And then tomorrow, that's where we start overcast, drizzly. There could be a few breaks in the clouds tomorrow afternoon, but a cooler day with maybe a few stray showers late in the day. 60s for tomorrow. It's a little bit different, and you'll notice that dampness and that damp air coming in off the ocean. Weathering your health for tomorrow. Pollen counts finally back down. Air quality is good tomorrow, and don't worry about a summer. There's going to be a lot of clouds around for tomorrow. Here's the reason. You see the circulation in the clouds. See how these the rain is moving to the west and it's moving to the east. It's all circulating around an area of low pressure just north of the Poconos, up toward about Binghamton, New York right now. Around it. Yeah, and the circulation is bringing clouds and cooler air all the way back into the Ohio Valley. What it did for us today, though, I'll tell you this, it brought in a little bit of drier air around it, and that's, that's what gave us a, a little bit of a break today. But it's still keeping it rather unstable. Look at the temperatures. 50s, 40s in Boston right now. 60s all the way out to Detroit. So, yeah, this thing has some influence over us. But, again, we locked out today, got a pretty decent day, but it's still pretty unstable. The line of thunder showers now from Lewistown up toward Sealands Grove, up toward Pottsville. But the trend has been as they work their way south, they kind of die out. We're generally sitting here in the 70s. But well, watch the wind arrows. Northwest now, those showers move to the south and die. Then look at the winds change direction more to the east tonight. That brings the moisture. You notice the clouds and the precipitation moving from east to west, a little different instead of from north to south. And we'll stay underneath those clouds through the morning, maybe a little drizzle, some showers. The clouds may break, a little drier air may come in from New England to break the clouds late in the day for tomorrow, but generally a cloudy day out there for most of the day, a little drizzle, a cooler day. A little better, but still a chance of a shower uh, in a few spots, but not widespread on Thursday. Lower 70s, still below average. We get back up to where we should be, a little warmer. A uh, stray shower can't be ruled out late Friday or Friday evening, but I think the weekend tells it back to summertime, 80s by Saturday, maybe 90s by the early part of next week. And I 